Merhaba, my name is Maute Vries. I'm one of the co-founders from Bikes, which is a social enterprise based in Amsterdam. And we're trying to make impact in the whole wide world. Our mission is 50 by 30, as you can see right here, uh, which is half full trips by bicycle by 2030 in cities worldwide, also in Turkey. And that's why I want to talk a little bit more about bikes uh, to you and maybe where you can start as a city creating impact uh, with us. So uh, I want to tell you a little bit more about the Netherlands. So we have uh, 22 million bicycles and we have only 18 million people living in the Netherlands. So we have more bicycles uh, than people. And you might know that, but uh, over 25% uh, um, uh, in, of all trips go by bicycle in the Netherlands, which is really already uh, quite something. So that's therefore uh, they take the Netherlands as a role model, uh, you could say, uh, normally, but um, I think we can do a bit more and we can also do more in the rest of the world. So we are a social enterprise that has been active since 2016 uh, and uh, currently we have a number of activities that revolve around increasing the use of the bicycle for citizens and uh, creating a, a cycling culture in the city. And our work is rooted in the belief that bicycles do not only provide efficient and sustainable transportation. We believe there's much, much more to that. Whether it is to attain gender fair cities, to decrease urban inequality, to improve community health, to foster neighborhood economies or ensure urban resilience, the bicycle is a powerful tool for transformation, for societal transformation. We always say the bicycle is more than transportation, it's transformation and that's yeah, what drives us since the beginning of the pandemic is that the time of the bicycle has arrived as you know as well so many things happening in cities over the world governments and citizens are finally recognizing the power of the bicycle and we really hope that this trend extends well beyond the crisis we now face uh, that the temporary bike paths will stay the bicycle will play an important role in ensuring the future of our cities is livable, sustainable. Furthermore, we believe that alongside the development of infrastructure, it is important or, uh, to think about fostering a culture of the bicycle, to ensure new users can benefit from urban design and that using a bicycle becomes normal for daily trips. Huh? So you don't, you go out of your house and you don't think about cars, but you just start maybe bringing your bike even from your home and riding it to where you want to be instead of parking it around two blocks away around the corner. I think that's very important. Our activities focus on four dimensions of cycling driven change. It's youth engagements, it's commuter behavior, it's human infrastructure and transnational advocacy. We lead behavioural change initiatives, research, workshops with school children, urban activations like we do the Bicycle Architecture Biennale, which is an exhibition showcasing cutting-edge bicycle architecture projects uh, or participatory labs in the streets. And we also do awareness campaigns on the social benefits of cycling. We also coordinate the Bicycle Mayor Network. It is a network that we initiated in 2016 to accelerate cycling progress in cities by highlighting and supporting the role of civil society to enact lasting community-driven change. We connect advocates in our network and amplify their work done locally to construct this transnational narrative of cycling-driven change. We facilitate the sharing ideas, challenges and solutions to create a true, truly radical shift and you already see the first bits of that. We think there needs to be a better bridge between advocates, civil society, institutional stakeholders and businesses. There are several reasons for this decentralized vision. The most important is that from Amsterdam with a very small team, we do not have the knowledge or of the local context to provide sufficient or adequate support. Each city has its own ge geographical, typological, cultural, economic, political and social particularities that must be taken into account. We want to support and amplify local voices as the region grows and ideally we can help seek funding and establish a foundation that can have more independent operations than tailored to the region with local expertise. And that is very important to us in our vision of the future. 
I, I can give you a few examples of the work that bicycle mayors do. We have a great bicycle mayor, for example, in Mexico City, Ayali Garion. She has been working in bicycle advocacy for a long time. And when she started and she built a whole team around it, there was only just zero percentage, a bit more, starting to bicycle. And in a couple of years, you, see, you saw it changing, which uh, went from almost zero percent to six percent. And I think right now she's at a stage where she really proved that with good advocacy, uh, collaborating uh, with the government, you can really create change. Nazir Alavani was a great uh, bicycle mayor in, in Tripoli. And of course, you know about the disaster that just happened in Beirut. So Nazir and Areli collaborated where Areli had uh, put down the things that they did after the Mexican earthquake for Nazir to help him uh, organize a bicycle run relief for Beirut. For example, what happened uh, with COVID in Bangalore, uh, Satya Sankanaran, the bicycle mayor there, he, he started riding out uh, distributing food and medications to people uh, that couldn't, um, you know, be found in other ways. So there are so many things a bicycle mayor in a city could do and, and be effective in different contexts. Questions are very diverse in nature, yet all seek to improve the conditions for cycling in a given city. As a coordinating organization, we create workshops, we share resources and we connect these cycling advocates so they can improve their work locally and gain a global perspective on the actions they are leading. We also give visibility to their work internationally and share their local stories to our global audience. We also monitor their work. We assess their needs and we help guide them through certain projects. Since two years we have a bicycle mayor in Istanbul. He's the first in Turkey, Murat Sviabadmas. Uh, there will be elections to find another, a new bicycle mayor for Istanbul. And we're also starting with the first bicycle mayor in Ankara, which is great. We think every city could benefit from having a bicycle mayor. And we encourage you to get involved with us to help find the right candidate for your city.